hello good morning welcome back to the vlog happy monday i wish i wish i could say we're in a good spot right now but we are not well we're not doing too well today um <laughs> i just got a honey cinnamon latte with oat milk from one of my favorite places it's so good i'm really trying to cut back on my dairy but if you're new here, hello, welcome back to my channel. I, in my previous vlog, we went to La Quinta Resort in the Palm Springs area and we got back yesterday afternoon. It's not too far, it's like an hour and a half, two hour drive for us. And basically, long story short, I am not feeling well today. I we had a wonderful weekend it was so much fun and I will link that video in the cards and below if you want to check it out if you haven't seen it yet it was so much fun but um, it was for a work event and I was a little stressed as I always am <laughs> so I think that between the stress and we stayed up late we visited with friends colleagues from work we were up to like 1 a.m. both Friday and Saturday which I do not do um, and just like not being in your own bed and your own routine and stuff, I just, I am not feeling well. So I've got some medicine on board, which is definitely giving me some energy because about an hour ago, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna get my son to school. Um, but I took like DayQuil, Advil, <laughs> vitamin C, um, all the things. And I think I'm gonna go grab, grab some pressed juices because I am actually leaving for another trip to Colorado at the end of the week. So we were in Palm Springs, it was like 95 degrees. We're going to Colorado, it's gonna be like 35 degrees. So that's not gonna be great for my body. I need to get healthy. So anyway, welcome back to the vlog. This is gonna be kind of like a few days of recovering from the previous trip and prepping for the next. Also, I picked my face, like just, oh, and my Keurig stopped working this morning. I'm like, what? It's the case of the Mondays, but on the plus side, I'm working from home today. And that was like pre-scheduled because the trip from last weekend was a work event and then I actually have another work event tomorrow um, that I have to go into the office for and stuff. So anyway, I'm working from home today so that is great. Um, it'll allow me to take the day a little bit more slow, slowly and I don't have to commute and stuff. So that's good, good news. But anyway, I need to pick up our meals for the next couple days. We still do this meal prep. Um, place and then I think I'm gonna grab I have a target order to pick up with more day quill night quill all the good things and then I'm gonna grab some juices and we'll go home and get to work I just got my juices from Pressed. Before I head home, I wanna show you what they are. Um, this was the Immunity Support Pack, which they recently came out with, and I can actually pop up a picture of the pack because I was just looking on the app and I was like, I know I wanna get something for like, you know, sickness, and this is what they recommended. So it's like a three-day cleanse type thing, not cleanse, but um, you take one shot and have one juice every day for three days and it's just supposed to you know it's a lot of vitamin c and all that kind of stuff so the juices that came in this are the strawberry orange mango that sounds really good so this is the first juice strawberry orange mango then i got orange turmeric yum Focus, come on, you can do it. There we go. And then I got ginger turmeric. So those are the three juices. And then it came with three shots. And it was a an immunity shot, a wellness shot, and an elderberry shot. Let's see. So hopefully this helps. I'm actually feeling pretty good right now, but you know, so we'll see. It's definitely getting some fresh air, getting outside and um, 
the medicine. Definitely helped, but you know, I'll probably fade soon once that wears off. So gotta, gotta do this. Also, you have like four million boxes in your car already. Hello, good morning. It's been a while. Um, clearly, we had to take a little break from the vlog. I Last I talked to you was a week ago, last Monday. So, <clears throat> um, obviously, if you can't tell, I was feeling okay on Monday. I kind of relaxed and rested the rest of the day after I spoke to you. And then I was supposed to go into work Tuesday morning, decided to test before I went in and tested positive. So we were sick and we were down for the count for about a full week. Um, it was pretty rough. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling so much better now. I just ran into Starbucks, got a coffee, got some egg white bites. I'm finally starting to feel a little bit back to normal. My appetite has been really weird. Um, I still can't smell, unfortunately, so that's a little bit weird. But um, anyway, we're back, and that's why I didn't obviously film all last week, and we didn't end up going to Colorado. Unfortunately, I had to cancel that trip. Hopefully we can reschedule, but I still wanted to finish out this vlog vlog today share some things um, And kind of catch you up on what happened last week what we did and yeah So that's what we're gonna do for the rest of this vlog Obviously this took a bit of a turn, but it's all good. We're healthier <laughs> Healthier now. I'm still having to mask for a couple more days, but I'm cleared to like go out and about no longer in isolation So that's good. But anyway um, welcome back and yeah, let's uh, let's get through the day and I'll fill you in on some fun things All right, we are back home. Let me not slam the garage um, We're back home. I have a bunch of stuff to share with you. First of all, I stopped by Lululemon to return my Wonder Puff cropped jacket because I ordered it in a size 8, which is the size I wear in the vest, but it was just a little too tight around my shoulders. I have bigger shoulders, and it's too expensive to keep if it doesn't fit perfectly, so I took it back. I think I'm going to order a size 10, but we'll see. So, I have a bunch of stuff to show you. First of all, while I was homesick, our Keurig, like, died. So, we just got a new one from Costco yesterday, so I'm so excited I got to have coffee this morning I my only outing when I was homesick with COVID was driving to Starbucks every day going through the drive-thru and getting a coffee because we didn't have coffee so literally that was my one like way of getting out of the house and then the other thing I want to quickly show you is the jack-o-lantern that James and Josh made during whatever I don't know yesterday no this weekend let me show you how cute is it it's kind of dirty out here but isn't that so cute so anyway, um, I also was just thinking, let me pop in, I think I took a couple clips of Josh and James cutting the jack-o'-lantern, jack and then also, um, I think I did like a couple clips throughout the weekend. We did go to Boot Barn, um, because I just needed to get out of the house on Sunday, so we went, Josh had to go to Lowe's or something, and there's a Boot Barn right there, so we like walked around, so let me insert those clips real quick of the few things that I captured from the last week. Don't eat it. It's so raw. What? How does it look to you? Woo! Daddy, can you get all the seeds out? Yeah, I'm gonna get them out. Don't worry. What do you think, James? It's cool. James, what's your pumpkin's name? Um, scary. Scary? Yeah. I thought he was smiley. He looks really cool. 
Okay, so I really quickly wanted to show you some things that I got in the mail or picked up or whatever over the last few days. So first of all, while I was sick, I got a PR package from Truvani, which I was really excited about. I actually got two packages. The first one was all of these bars. Also, I would have showed you guys this before, but I literally could not talk. Um, so I got a bunch of bars. I got, um, where's the coconut cashew, chocolate brownie, mint, chocolate, peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter, and oatmeal chocolate chip. And these are really like cool because they're gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based. So I got a bunch of these. And then they also sent me this collagen peptides um, grass-fed and it supports hair, skin, nails, joint, and gut health. So really excited about this. And with that, they gave me a frother, which is really cute. And we actually needed another frother. So I'm excited to open this. And look at this, this cute little eye mask and this little mug on this side it says it's giving glow and then on the other side it says do not disturb how cute is this so anyway i got this cute little pr package so thank you truvani for sending that i believe i have a code um what did they send me um you can use go to truvani.com slash collagen deal to get I think it's like 15% off or something. What does it say? Or text. Um, oh, it says get Truvani's Collagen Starter Kit. Get a 28 serve bag of collagen plus over $50 worth of free gifts. Anyway, so that's really cool. And then I finally, finally got this. I ordered this so long ago. It took like honestly over two and a half weeks to get here which i mean i'm used to like amazon nordstrom sephora like super quick um shipping so this was i was pretty impatient i have to be honest um what did i get i didn't i was gonna get like the little pa like the starter pack or whatever where you get all four but i decided to just get like three of the ones that i wanted i think so what did we get from Rode? Um, okay, yeah, I got three. So I got, I'm so excited, um, the peptide lip tints. I have the original one, like the unscented one, and I really love it. I got espresso, ribbon, and toast. So these are the, let's see if it'll focus. These are the colors, shades that I got. So anyway, stay tuned. I will probably try these later, but really excited about those. And then let me show you a couple things I picked up from Nordstrom Rack and Target. All right, so from Target, I just picked up the book November 9 by Colleen Hoover. I am finishing up um, The House Across the Lake. I have like 20 pages left. I was trying to finish it last night before I fell asleep, but I fell asleep and I couldn't finish it. So we're gonna finish that today and then we'll start this one. Honestly, I really like House Across the Lake. I'll, I'll recap it more later today after I finish, but it's kind of weird and got a little creepy there. So I need something like happy and light. And I mean, I've heard this one's really good, but anyway. So yeah, we'll try this one. And then look at these cute Birkenstocks that I got. So I had originally got these and the pair that I got was messed up. So I had to pick up another pair. Look at how cute these are. Aren't these adorable? I, when we were in La Quinta last weekend in the desert, I saw like three women wearing these and I was like, oh my gosh. I'm not like the biggest Birkenstocks girl. Like I didn't grow up wearing them or anything like that. But I do have a pair that's like an off-white pair that I really like. And then like during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and stuff, they came out with the one with the gold detail, which I absolutely love gold detailing. Um, but I just didn't see a pair that I liked. And then, like I said, I saw all these women wearing this like beautiful cognac color. And I just feel like this is really pretty for this time of year. I mean, year round, but especially this time of year because it like looks like fall, but it's still kind of warm here. So I just thought these were so, so cute. So really excited about these. I'll have all this linked below. All right, so I just finished up the work day and I was just about to go downstairs and 
watch The Bachelor, The Golden Bachelor from last week. I still haven't watched it. Um, and I have like a cup of coffee and get some stuff done on my, on my personal laptop. But before I lose too much light, I just wanted to quickly show you um, a couple of these skirts that I picked up from Nordstrom. One is from Free People and one is from Madewell because I think they're so cute and I was so excited to find them and they're still pretty well stocked, at least right now when I'm filming. Um, so if you wanted to grab them, I just wanted to share with you. So first I have this. Um, this is the Easy Street pullover the cropped version on um this one is in a size medium i believe let me check yeah medium and i have this in a couple of colors i really love this sweater i have it in the tunic version as well i can link the tunic down below too but i really love these and um anyway i just haven't worn this one and i had it in this room so i figured i would show you with this sweater on because this would be something that i would wear with it but this is the first skirt this is from free people and this is like in the off-white color they also had it in a black which i am contemplating getting so um, it just like buttons in the front and I have it in a size 6. I had actually um, got both the 6 and the 8 because I wasn't sure which one was going to work and the 6 worked. So if you're between sizes, I think that you can go down because it is it, like it's pretty um, forgiving. But I will say the slit does go pretty high and I was reading um, the comments and some people said that like they felt exposed in this because of how high this light goes. On me, I don't feel like it's too, too high, but I'm 5'5", five five and you can kind of see that the skirt basically goes down to my ankle. So if you are taller, this might not work for you because it might be like higher on the leg, which would be good, but then it might be like too high in the back. So just be aware of that, um, but I think this is so cute, and I really, really love it, and I think with some booties or boots, like, I just, I absolutely love. So I may also order this in the black just because I don't want it to sell out. I think it's available on Free People's website as well. It does have, like, a, um, what do you call, like, a, like a soft inside. Let me flip it around so you can see. This is what the inside looks like. So it's not leather like this on the inside or faux leather. Come on, you can focus. Okay, there you go. So you can see it's just super soft and comfortable on the inside. So no like scratchiness or sticky or anything like that. So it is really nice. I really like it. Like I said, so much so that I might order it in black as well. Got it in a size six and I think it's so cute and it'll be really cute for holidays and stuff. So that is the first one. And then let me show you the Madewell one. Okay, so here is the other skirt. As you can see, the slit for this one is in the front and this is in a 28. I also ordered this in a 28 and a 29 I just never know and my like waist is not like my smallest um area and so and I hate things being tight here and so if like basically I usually go up because I, I'd rather have something like roomy than too tight on my waist but again this is a size 28 and I still have plenty of room it's not too um tight at all so again with this if between sizes i recommend it going with your smaller size it fits really really well and again you've got the slit in the front but it just makes it so easy to walk um but these do go pretty low on me again keep in mind i'm five five but this is how it looks on me and i think these are really cute and i think it's really fun for fall so here's what this one looks like again um, I will have these linked below, but I just wanted you to be able to get your hands on them if you wanted them because I think they're really cute and I really like them both and recommend. There can be only one at the end of the journey. Are you going to pick one of your books to read? Mm. Right here in your bookshelf? Alright, come here. Okay, so James and Josh are home now. Josh is working out in the garage. I am not well enough to work out just quite yet but it's driving me crazy i haven't worked out in like a week and a half which is a long time for me so here's little jamie james looking at his bookshelf i wanted to quickly update you on the house across the lake this was such a good book um it took a turn 
that I was not expecting. And what I'll say is if you like like spooky books, you're gonna wanna read this. It was a really good page turner, a really good thriller. Oh yeah, I put it back up on your bookshelf. I'll help <laughs> you get it. But I just wasn't expecting this to to take the turn that it did. So anyway, that's all I'll say, but it was really good. What's your favorite book? Do you see that what is scare? Tell us about it. So watch this. Oh look! What's happening? Look. What's happening? Look, you got a Friday. Oh my goodness. Got Friday. Silly. All right, so we're gonna end the vlog here. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. I know this was kind of a crazy vlog. It did not go the way I planned at all, but it's been a couple good Mondays with a week in between. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you liked all the hauls. I did get a lot of good stuff in this video. So hopefully that gave you some inspiration. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, oh, oh.